All right. So let's just say we want to start our journey here. I'm going to right click on the airport and select set airport as departure. It opens this little flight planning window and we get our first entry. Let me zoom out and let's pick a destination. I'm going to pick this one and I'm going to right click on this airport again. And now I'm going to select set airport as destination. Okay. Now that we got that, I'm going to double click on departure and it opens up this information window here. And if you click on weather, it gives you the weather data and you can base your runway selection on the wind. Now this time we will just disregard the wind and I'm going to close this again. And let's just say we want to take off from runway 27. And I'll right click on departure and select show departure procedures. Just note this shortcut here. And here I'll select runway 27. And now it shows me the available sits for this runway 27. And now comes the best part. If I zoom out and click on a sit, I can now use the arrow keys of my keyboard and switch through the different sits and it will give me a preview for each of them. So they are not inserted yet. It's just a preview and I can click through the different previews to see how they work out. Now, because we're going north, um, let's see, I had a good one. This looks good to me, okay? So I'm just gonna pick this one and I will right click and insert into flight plan. And again, there is a very nice shortcut, which is easy to remember. Okay, look at that already adjusted the route accordingly and put the information here. So we got the departure destination and the SID. Now I'll right click on destination and select show arrival procedures. And now we will just say that we want to land at runway 03 right. Now again, I'm just gonna disregard the wind. It's just an example. So I'm going to select runway 03, right? And this time it will show me the stars available for this runway as well as the approaches. And now I'm going to pick the approach first and I want to make the ILS approach. So I'm going to zoom out again and click on one approach. And now I'm going to click through them to see how they work out and to see which one fits my needs. So this one looks good. Um, so we would come in from here, then take the missed approach if we miss the land. And the missed approach will basically bring us back to where we came from, which I like. So I'm gonna right click and insert that into our fight plan. Wonderful and the information is updated accordingly here. Now, um, just side note, if you do a mistake, you can just select waypoints here with shift click and um, let's see, delete them and they are gone. Now let's pick this approach again because it was not a mistake and see if we can find an appropriate star too. Again, I'm going to click on a star and now use my arrow keys to click through them and see if I can find a star that is right for what I'm looking for. Now, this looks interesting. Um, this star will not bring us to the beginning of the approach, but rather to the holding point of our missed approach which is great too. I'm going to show you why I'm going to insert this arrival at runway 03. Now we will go this way, take the approach. If we miss the land, we take the missed approach and come back here and then we could fly an endless circle as long as we have enough fuel. So now we have all 
those information. We have the departure, the destination, the sit, which brings us up to here. And then there's the approach that begins here. Or sorry, the star that begins here. And the approach and the missed approach and the destination. But there's still a gap between um, the departure and the arrival. So now I'll click this button here with a little magic stick and set a cruising altitude and just click on calculate. Now you could do and make adjustments here. But I'm just going to click on calculate and see that now it filled the gap between the sit and the star. So it filled the gap between the departure procedure and the arrival procedure. And in fact, it entered an airway segment here. So now our route is basically complete. Um, now I will click this button here and it says create a new flight plan from route description. It's a bit of a strange tooltip, but if you click it, it will basically give you the summary of your route. Okay, now for some reason it enters a strange waypoint here, which I'm going to delete. But now we have the destination, we have our sit, which brings us to this waypoint, which is here. And from there we will take this airway, and you can find it here, up to this VOR. Then we will join just shortly this airway, exit it at that waypoint here. And from there we will yeah, sorry, here, which is where the star begins. And then we have our destination and the approach is missing because normally the approach is just not mentioned in the summary of a route. Okay, you could copy that to a clipboard, to your clipboard, or um, you can go to file and export. And I'm coming from explain and you can export that as a explain flight plan and then load it right inside your plane into your avionics. So that's just really awesome. Um, now there's a whole lot more to this program. For example, there's a vertical profile and all kinds of things that you can do with this. I'm just getting into it, but I just wanted to give you a quick guide or a quick example on how to build a simple route with all the the normal procedures. All right, thanks for watching and goodbye.